Uh, well, I, you know, when we started the second half of conference play two weeks ago, I told the team that we needed to beat <laughs> the good teams in the conference if we were going to be a contender this year. Um, so obviously winning at Albany was a big game for us, and then winning today against BU was a, big, a great win for us. Um, so I think our kids are really starting to understand what it takes, and um, obviously we've had leads in games and not found a way to win, so it was nice to, to be up uh, against both, both Albany and BU and still find a way to, to, to gut it out. Well, we definitely practice a lot in practice, especially off the free throws. Um, we had to get in on the boards hard and just everybody crash and just focus on getting the ball before they did. Yeah, yeah we knew coming in, BU is a great um, rebounding team. You know, the coach players really uh, crash hard. So, uh, yeah, it was definitely a big emphasis, especially for the guards that make sure we're coming in and crashing. So, um, yeah, we knew if we all rebounded them, we were going to give ourselves a good chance of winning. Did you think? Uh, yeah, sh um, you know, we just worked hard. It wasn't really on um, me and Alex in particular. It was kind of a, a whole team defense. I think our whole team did a good job on her. Um, you know, they set a lot of screens for her. Uh, we did a great job pulling them out. And, you know, and our, our coaches did a great job of, you know, scouting. So we knew how to, how to play her. So it was a, a group effort. <coughs> She's modest about her defense on Alice Young, but there's a reason that we started her on her because her defensive focus is so strong compared to some of our younger guys. Um, so I just felt like you're not going to stop all of them. I'm surprised we held her scoreless because I always tell the kids you're not going to hold her scoreless, which we did. But we want to make the shots that they take tough. And I thought that she missed a couple open ones at the end, but I also think that Moran and Alford hit some really tough ones. So it balances <coughs> out, you know, like. And if you keep your focus and you limit the good looks that they get, um, you know, she ends up rushing a little bit. I thought <coughs> our post players were ready to help out when our guards got stuck. There was a couple rotations that Ruthann made down the floor. There was a play where Jackie got stuck and Taylor helped out and made her throw it over the top. So we we're just very aware of how they want to score and what we need to do to take, take away their strengths. Mm -hmm. She offensively, she's obviously was in a rhythm. Yeah, you know, up in Maine, she hit a couple shots and got herself going. She hit three threes in the second half, and I felt <laughs> like, um, you know, Jackie's pretty hard on herself. She's very much a perfectionist, and she wants to be like five for five from the floor every night. Um, so I feel like she loosened up a little bit hitting those shots at Maine. It couldn't been it couldn't have been better timing. Um, and then uh, she uh, she had a good practice yesterday and. She's mentally tough, her and Ruthann both. So with, if Ruthann says she's gonna get better as a free throw shooter, she will get better as a free throw shooter. And you know, Jackie just knows that she has to l let herself relax and enjoy the game. 